Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is Pramod and this is another Core 2 practice test series and this part is also very helpful to pass the Core 2 exam. So let's go to the questions and this is question number one. So internet speeds on a user's Windows 10 device are slow but other devices on the same network are running at a normal speed. A technician thinks the issue may be related to the proxy settings. So which of the following should the technician check to verify the proxy configuration? Option A is network and sharing center. Option B is internet options. Option C is the firewall settings. Option D is the system settings. And the correct answer for this question is option B, internet options. So let's check the explanation. So explanation is to verify the proxy configuration on Windows 10 device, a technician should check internet options. Because internet option, this is the classic location for managing proxy settings in Windows accessible through the control panel. That's why the correct answer is B, internet options. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is, a user's Android phone has been randomly restarting. A technician investigates and finds several applications have been installed that are not available within the standard marketplace. So which of the following is most likely the cause of the issue? Option A, the OS update failed. Option B, the user downloaded malware. Option C, the device is in developer mode. Option D, the over the air carrier update failed. And the correct answer for this question is option B, the user downloaded malware. So let's check the explanation and the explanation is malware is a malicious software that can disturb the normal functioning of a device including causing random restarts. So installing apps from outside the official app store significantly increases the risk of downloading malware as the sources often distribute untrusted applications. That's why the correct answer is B, the user downloaded malware. So let's move to the next question. The next question is, a technician is troubleshooting a PC that will not run Windows Defender. So Windows Defender has been disabled and no other antivirus is installed on the PC. So which of the following would have caused this issue? Option A is a ransomware, option B is a rootkit, option C is a spyware, and option D is a keylogger. And the correct answer for this question is B, rootkit. So let's check the explanation. And the explanation is, a rootkit is the most likely cause for Windows Defender to be disabled and not able to be re enabled as rootkits can deeply infect the system and modify its core functions, including security settings. That's why the correct answer is B, rootkit. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, which of the following is a technique used by a threat actor to engage and obtain information via telephone call? Option A is a phishing, option B is a smishing, option C is a tailgating, option D is a wishing. And the correct answer for this question is option D, wishing. So let's check the explanation. So the technique used by a threat actor to engage and obtain information via telephone call is wishing. And the explanation is wishing stands for voice phishing and refers to the act of using a phone call to trick someone into revealing sensitive information. That's why the correct answer is D, wishing. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is a computer has been infected with malware. Despite several attempts to remove the malware, the issue persists. Which of the following actions should a technician take next? So choose two options out of these options. The first option is A, reimage the computer. Next option is restore the computer using the last known good backup. Option C is a remove the computer from the network. Option D is a put the computer in safe mode. Option E is a verify the file consistency. And option F is enable the system firewall. So let's check the explanation. And the explanation is the best action to take next are reimage the computer and remove the computer from the network. So reimaging the computer, this is a drastic measure but can effectively wipe out malware by restoring the operating system and restoring it to a clean state. And removing the computer from the network, this is isolates infected computer 
preventing it from spreading malware to other devices on the network. That's why the correct answer is A and C, that is re-image the computer and remove the computer from the network. So let's move to the next question. Next question is, the user receives a message on a PC stating it has been infected by malware. A technician runs a full scan on user's machine and detects no malware. So later that day, the same message reappears. Which of the following steps should a technician take to restore the system to regular functionality? Option A is a check for Windows update. Option B is a re-image the computer. Option C is a enable Windows firewall. Option D, run disk discern system file checker. And the correct option for this question is option B, re-image the computer. So let's check the explanation. So re-imaging this means reinstalling the operating system and restoring the computer to its factory state, which can often eliminate persistent malware issues that might not be detected by regular scans. That's why the correct answer is B, re-image the computer. So let's move to the next question. Next question is a technician is trying to perform an in-place upgrade of Windows operating system from a file. When the technician double clicks the file, the technician receives a prompt to mount a drive. So which of the following file types did the technician download? Option A is a .msi, Option B is a .iso, Option C is a .chip, Option D is a .exe. And the correct option for this question is Option B .iso. So let's check the explanation. So an ISO file stands for image file format is an disk image file that contains a complete copy of CD, DVD or other optical media. When you double click an ISO file, your operating system typically prompts you to mount if it has virtual drive, allowing you to access the contents of the image as if it were a physical disk. This is exactly what is needed to perform in and place upgrade of a Windows operating system from a downloaded image file. That's why the correct answer is B dot ISO. So let's move to the next question. Next question is a change was introduced in the company's DNS server, but local workstations have not applied it yet. So which of the following commands should the help text technician use to force the workstations to immediately apply the change? First option is NS lookup. Next option is netstat. Next option is trace RT and last option is IP config. And the correct answer for this question is option D IP config. So let's check the explanations. So the IP config command to force a workstation to immediately apply a DNS change is IP config slash flush DNS. And the explanation is IP config slash flush DNS. This command clears the DNS cache on the local machine, forcing it to free query the DNS server for updated information, effectively forcing the workstation to apply the new DNS server change. That's why the correct answer is D, IP config. So let's move to the next question. And the next question is, a technician needs to implement a system to handle both authentication and authorization. So which of the following meets this requirement? Option A is a WPA3, Option B is a MFA, Option C is a TACX plus, Option D is auth 2.0 and the correct answer is C TACX plus. So let's check the explanation. So TACX plus terminal access control access control system plus this protocol is designed to handle both authentication, verifying a user identity and authorization, determining what access a user has separately. So making it the ideal choice for system that requires general control for user permissions. That's why the correct answer is C, TACX. And the next question is, a user's mobile phone battery does not last long and navigation is very slow. So which of the following should the technician do first to resolve the issue? Option A is uninstall unused programs. Option B, check running applications. Option C, update the mobile OS. Option D, disable network services. And the correct answer for this question is option B, check running applications and explanation is the technician should first check running applications because background apps can significantly drain battery and slow down phone performance making it the most logical first step to address both battery life and navigation issues 
and the explanation is checking running applications, identify and closing apps that actively using resources like CPU, RAM and battery can quickly improve phone performance and battery life. That's why the correct answer is B, check running applications. So let's move to the next question. So I hope you are enjoying this video and this part has been completed. Study hard, good luck and thanks for watching. I will upload next part shortly. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you.